this problem, I am to graph f of x equals sine x minus 4. So the basic function sine x looks like this, where the amplitude is 1. Since there's no number written here, it, I'm assuming it's a 1. So we need a graph that looks like this, that would normally start at the origin, go as high as 1, as low as negative 1, and take 2 pi radians to graph. So by the way, if you're ever looking at a problem and they do not specifically state that x is in degrees, you are to assume x is in radians. So the period for the sine function is 2 pi radians, which is a little bit bigger than 6. If you were to take 2 and multiply by pi in your calculator, you'd see it's a little bigger than 6. So let me show you what this would be like if there wasn't a subtract 4. You would click either this one or this one. Uh, for whatever reason, I prefer the second, but you can use the first. But the second one, I'm going to start with the point zero zero, and I'm going to make sure that my graph takes about six units to do its thing, which would look like about right there, meaning that it starts on the x-axis, goes up, down, hits the x-axis again. This time it does something different. It goes below the x-axis and back up, and you get that second x-intercept at about six units. I'm going to have to move it to the right. A little bit. So this is about 2 pi radians. And notice that it goes about as high as 1 and as low as negative 1. My point is that this minus 4 out here, since it's uh, since you're subtracting 4 and all your y values, all the y values of your points are going to be uh, 4 less, which means the graph is going to go down 4 units. Unfortunately, there's no way in Math AS right now to just grab this graph and move it down 4 units. That would be very convenient. So what I'm going to have to do is at least, probably better on paper for you to write, write down what you're going to draw or you can hold it in your head, that if I was to move this down four units, then instead of starting at zero, zero, I would have to start at zero, negative four, and because the graph goes up one uh, and down one from that midline, uh, if I'm starting at negative four, I would have to make the graph go as high as negative three and as low as negative five. So I'm actually gonna have to clear the drawing and clear all, start over, except this time, instead of starting at the origin, I'm gonna start at negative four, because the graph would get shifted down four. So I'm going to start here, click my mouse, and hold it down, and go as high as negative three, and that automatically makes the graph go as low as negative five. So now you can see that the midline, the, line, the horizontal line that cuts to the middle of the graph would be y equals negative four, and that's because uh, this number right here is negative four. Uh, so at any rate, um, the problem now is, because I wasn't paying attention to my period, the graph looks like it takes about three units uh, to do one cycle of the sine. This, this right here, from here to there, is one cycle of the sine. It takes about six units to repeat itself. In fact, you can see it uh, repeating itself here. It goes up, down, back to the uh, x-axis, up and down, back to the x-axis. So here's two periods of the sine function. So by my graph right now, it's incorrect. It goes up, down, back up and you get that second uh, point on the midline at x equals 3, and it needs to be a little bit bigger than 6. But no worries, I grab this point and I move to the right and make sure that that happens at about 6 units. So I almost wanted to say this is correct, but remember we're not with sine function, we're not making the second high point at 6, we're making the second in x-intercept at 6. And right now, if this was the midline right here, uh, my my graph would hit the midline negative four its second time at right here about four and three quarters. So we need to still move it over to the uh, six. So these graphs can be really tricky on Math AS if you are not uh, careful. When I first started doing these, I made a few mistakes because I wasn't uh, careful. So this is pretty good. It's starting at negative four, going as high as uh, negative three and as low as negative five. So it looks like the midline through negative four. And it looks like if I was, if I could physically graph the midline here, I wish I could do that here, uh, through negative four, you'd see uh, that it hits the midline, the graph, the blue graph hits the midline y equals negative four once, and then it's second time right here at an x value just a little bit bigger than six. So I'm a little worried this graph doesn't go low enough, but it's really because I put this point a little bit too high. It really isn't a negative four. It needs to be moved down a little bit. I think I can do that. Now when I submit it, I should get full credit. So it is possible if you keep trying <laughs> to get full credit on these, but I know it's a bit frustrating when you're, uh, you're learning. So, uh, so in the next video, I'll probably do one that combines both an amplitude change and uh, a vertical shift, you know, up and down.